In this quick video, I'm going to create an organization manually, and I'm going to show you how to do that right off the home page. So, in general, the service setting application on Salesforce Lightning, if I click that right over here, it generally has the organization object right at the top. And what I'm going to do is quickly click this button right here and click Create New Organization. So that's one way I could do this. Another way is to actually click Organizations right there and go right over here and click New. I'm manually creating an organization, but I could also import one, and I'll show you that in another video. So let's click New over here. And it's going to ask me what kind of record type this is. Well, you can create record types under the settings, and I've created those in a different video. However, here I'm going to just say that this is a development uh, record type, and I'm going to go and create my organization. So I'm the organization owner. I'm going to say that this is a hot organization, and what that means is that it has a high rate of sale. I'm going to call this ABC, ABC Industries. I'm going to say that this does not have an organization name. I'm going to say that this is a definitely a customer direct. It is in the agricultural industry. The average revenue is over a million dollars and we are at the negotiation and stage. The currency of this organization is in South African rands. It is a hot organization. I can add the website. So here's where I would say abc.com, for example. And then I would say that I, it is a publicly owned organization. I could add the address, the shipping address, the customer priority I'm going to say is incredibly high. The upsell is incredibly high, and this is an active organization. And I could even type in a description right down here. What I'm going to do then is click Save. And once ABC Industries is created, I can then begin to see the contacts. I can then begin to add contacts, opportunities, and I can even begin to add files and folders that help me perhaps proposal that I've sent to them. I could upload it here. I could also have some sales groups that I've attached to this organization. We could look at some news related to this, some, their Twitter feed. We could add their details in here. And we can also look at the correspondence that we've had. For example, if I've had a call with them or I've logged an email with them. I'll talk a little bit more about how we add that in in other videos. However, this is just a simple way to create an organization. And if I ever want to come back and, for example, um, change this organization or edit it, I can click the pencil right here. And I can say, for example, that this organization is in Johannesburg, which is in my home country of South Africa. And I could say that the billing country is South Africa, right over here. And what that does is, is help us know exactly where we get, um, where we are shipping to. And also, as I get new information, I can put it right in here and click Save. And that is how you create and edit manually an organization.